dog. We sure did find us some help. Just look at ya. So, he's your dog? Aw, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog me, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. Please, tell me what you know. Just listen to me. <laughs> Tin the crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way since I was a girl. I'm listening. I can see a bit of what was and what will be. And even what is right now now and right now i can see this something coming drawn by the noise and the chaos and it is angry what is it Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I see. I, I see. Oh. It's, it's horrible, kid. Claws and teeth and horns. The very face of death itself. all I can manage. That's all. I need to rest now. And you have a job to do. We need help. And we get a vault dweller? What are you going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Bleed to death? Hey. These are our lives you're playing with. Are you listening to me? It's coming. Here, soon. Oh, God. Oh, God, why? Why, 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 why? It's not fair. It's not fair. You all right? No, no, no. No, no, no. Now, where did I put those mentats? We can't just stay trapped in here. This is ridiculous! Bingo. Julius! S somebody do something! Look, Sturgis may be big, but he ain't much good in a fight. I need you to do this. Sturgis. Wanna try? You can't do any worse than me.
Yes. Damn, you made that look way too easy. Man, what are you waiting for? There are more of you, Jet. Right? Psycho chaser. Mm -hmm.
through. Nothing to worry about. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. I give you that. I've got this one.
easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move some... Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did, and we owe you our lives. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Because there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Okay. I'm listening. You're a man out of time, out of hope, but all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I'm listening. Look, kid, I know how I sound. The sight, it's weird, and it ain't always clear, but your son's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The sight will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh. We need to keep moving. Okay. Sturgis. Hold on to that power armor now. Hate to see it go to rust. You all right? Don't forget the price we paid to get this far. Let's move out. I'll take point. Stick close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. <clears throat> Is it over? Hey there. Sanctuary. We'll see about that. Still can't believe you took that thing out. First time I've seen one of these things up close. I'm very glad it's already dead.
damn gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Where are we going, Marcy? Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Oh. oh okay. Well, look at that. I think I just found my new vacation home.
glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? Maybe. I woke up at one point. Some people killed my wife and kidnapped my son. I'm trying to find him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual. Raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. have the sight. It, it has to be able to... Uh... You can't talk to the dead, kid. Even the sight has limits. I'm sorry. Have a moment. I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. What happened to you guys? Long story short, we've been on the move since the attack on Quincy. There used to be more of us. My son, he's... He's gone. Your son, what was his name? Kyle. My son's name was Kyle. That's awful. No parent should have to lose their child. No, no they shouldn't. I just keep thinking, maybe I could have done more. Anyway, thanks again.
That death long conquered was bad news, huh, Mama? You ever seen one of those suckers before? Oh, sure, plenty. One time, I killed a death claw all by myself. No power armor and fancy minigun, just a pipe pistol and one bullet. You telling me you killed a death claw with one bullet? Come on, what do you take me for? It's true. I might not look it, but back in the day, I had quite the shot. Yeah, or quite the imagination. Seems to be growing well. Hey, June. You hanging in there? Oh, well, I guess so. Every day I get up and tell myself, you just have to get through today. Now, you've been through a rough time, man. The worst. Just, uh, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Oh, okay. You willing to do some work? Yeah, hey, uh, I know I haven't been pulling my weight around here, and, and I'm really trying to do better. Okay? Okay. Thanks, Sturgis. Thanks for checking in on me. idea we're friends I just want to trade a few things what? welcome back sir I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Concord how were things here while I was gone oh just catching up on old yard work some occasional pest control and you sir anything to be found in Concord Maybe. We'll see. We certainly shall. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Would you like to? As you wish, sir. No, not now. All right, then.
Sanctuary. I knew you'd join us here, kid. Your energy is tied to this place. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. No. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old, even older than you'd think. If the chems are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. Isn't there any way you can use the site without chems? Let me tell you a story, kid. Once, there was a beautiful young girl with a special power. Used to get in all kinds of crazy adventures. She meets a handsome young boy, but he doesn't like her power. Thinks it makes her a slave to something evil. And so, the power goes away, and it's not there when the girl and the boy need it most. Now the boy's gone and the girl is old. But she has friends and her power keeps them safe. That's all that matters. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are or what you can give. All right, kid. You got me. If me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you, then I'll go clean. No more chems, no more sight. Stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. Just looking to trade a little. Want to chit chat? I hope you find your son. <laughs> 